Hello everyone welcome to your latest tropical update for Cyclone Dumaco and a possible larger cyclone that could be a threat for Mauritius, Rodrigues, Reunion and Madagascar next week. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you are always alerted when a new tropical update is released. Let's begin. Hello everyone to today's tropical update today we will be discussing the chances of a tropical cyclone forming and becoming a threat to Rodrigues, Mauritius, Reunion and even Madagascar. But first I have to address tropical cyclone Dumaco. Tropical cyclone Dumaco has formed since my last tropical update. Dumaco is expected to remain a weak tropical cyclone just to the north of Mauritius so we are not worried about direct impacts to Mauritius. But the same cannot be said for Madagascar as after just being impacted by cyclones Anna and Batsira are expecting more catastrophic rain from Dumaco which is likely to cause flooding. Also, to make things worse another cyclone is brewing and could also hit Madagascar as a powerful cyclone much like Batsarai did last week. Currently at the time of recording, Dumaco has winds of 45 to 50 knots and a pressure of 996 MB. Seen here in the JTWC map for strength and trajectory of Dumaco it is expected to move slowly in a westerly direction towards Madagascar staying at winds of 50 knots possibly getting to 55 knots if environmental conditions stay ideal for sustaining tropical development. It is forecast to weaken just before making landfall in Madagascar but that will not affect how much rain Dumaco will bring to the island, so flooding is still expected. Seen here on the infrared future satellite Dumaco is expected to become disorganized and ragged looking which is shown to affect its strength upon reaching Madagascar on the JTWC map as it goes from 50 knots to 45 knots before landfall. But like I said it will still be a flood threat as rainfall amounts will stay similar. Looking ahead we have to watch a system brewing in the Indian Ocean not too long after Dumaco. If it gets a name it will be named Emneshi. This system is likely to travel west in the Indian Ocean. According the latest forecast run from the GFS model. It shows potential cyclone Emneshi rapidly strengthening possibly into an intense tropical cyclone similar to Bapsirai of last week. It also looks like it will do an eerily similar track to it as it looks to pass just to the north of Rodrigues and thereafter. Move west-southwest just skirting Mauritius and Reunion to the north possibly bringing impacts there to like Bapsirai but then making a landfall in Madagascar head on not long after deadly cyclones Anna and Batsirai passed over the country. Just to remind you this is a while off and any can change. So make sure to stay update to date with the latest updates I post. For Madagascar according to this track by the GFS it shows a lot of accumulated rainfall which will cause mudflows, landslides, much like Batsirai did. This matches well with the latest rainfall accumulation map for the next week or so. Initially it shows Dumaco's influence with the rainfall but as potential cyclone Emneshi comes along you can see the rapid increase in the amount of rainfall falling which will accumulate and cause flooding and landslides. This currently indicates more than 500 mm of rain falling between now and the next 15 days. Like I said if this outcome verifies it will be disastrous for the country after dealing with Batsirai and Anna. This is a system that we must keep watching as the days come and go as things are likely to change slightly. You can stay up to date with this channel by subscribing and ringing the bell so you never miss an update like this. When us forecasters are making these videos for you guys it is very important we check as many different computer forecasts models as possible. Which is why you never hear me saying this cyclone will do this or that. I always say things may change. I do this as not all computer forecast model agree with one another. Meaning that will make an inaccurate forecast. My goal is to make the most accurate forecast for you. You may see me using the GFS model most videos, but in fact I use many others to help come to a conclusion to make a forecast. This is my reasoning why it's important to use more than one or two computer models. Let's use the GFS and ICON forecast models for possible cyclone in Marti. Firstly, looking at the GFS forecast run on top it shows Emneshi to be strengthening quickly but taking a completely different track than the, the ICON model. As the GFS forecasts the tropical cyclone to stay strong but move west towards Mauritius and Reunion bringing heavy rain to Mauritius, Rodrigues, Reunion and even Madagascar like I show you earlier. On the other hand, the ICON model shows a completely different forecast as it shows potential cyclone Emneshi to be turning south completely before even reaching Mauritius, Reunion and Madagascar. But this outcome brings Rodrigues into play. It's very important for me to check these all every single day to make sure I can make the best and most accurate forecast for you all. As you can see here it is probably best for me to say it is for the best to stay up to date as things will change and I will continue to update you so we can refine the forecast and get a lot for confidence on what this system may do in the coming days. I hope you enjoyed today's tropical update. If you did be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you are always notified when a NE update comes out.
if you have any questions about either of the two systems we were talking about today or anything else. Please ask as I am always happy to reply as soon as I can to any questions I receive. Until then I hope you have a great day. I'll see you very soon in a new update. Goodbye and stay safe.